guys, it's Sonya Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my channel, Living the Daily Life. No, it's not Living the Daily Life. It's Living the Creative Life where we get creative every single day. I think I need to drink more coffee. If you hung out with us on our Facebook channel last night, you will know that we launched three brand new colors. And today, they're going everywhere out across the country and into Canada. One of the colors that we brought back, this is a retired color. You guys have been asking for saying, bring back, be my honey. You guys see that? It's a beautiful honey yellow. Gorgeous, orangey, beautiful yellow, yellow. I always say that this color reminds me of Pooh Bear's honey pot. But today, I think I have the perfect piece to put this color on. You will remember I did a vlog this week where I took you junkin' with me and one of the pieces I found was this piece of pottery. And I had said at that time that I love the shape of it and I love the fact that it has great bones because a piece of pottery, I know how hard somebody worked to be able to bring this together. So for some other people who might see it, they might go, okay, well, McIntyre, that's pretty specific. How many people would want a piece of pottery with the word McIntyre, the last name McIntyre on it? Us junk monkeys, we have vision, right? So I am going to turn this in to a cute little vase holder for pencils for flowers, whatever you want to put into it. I'm going to give you some inspiration today and show you how easy it could be. I am somebody who loves pretty pens, pretty papers, and pretty little containers to hold all the said stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I know from experience that pottery has a glaze on the outside of it, a ceramic like wash glaze typically, and you can see it's really shiny. So anytime I'm going to paint something like this that has some shine on it, oh, did you see that tag? Pay $2.99 for this piece. I'm going to take a sand block and I'm just going to kind of like doll down the surface a little bit. Basically I'm creating all little uh, s scratches across the surface and it's going to allow my paint to really be able to grab up grab on even more so. I'm gonna use our chalky style paint today, which is grab a brush and go bananas kind of paint. You literally just have to have a project and it sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. I should totally take a before photo, shouldn't I? Question of the day, do you ever get so excited that you forgot to take your before photo? Everybody loves a good transformation photo. All right, I'm gonna go into my stash for a shabby chip brush and into the paint I'm going to go. Take a look at this Be My Honey color. Is it not just the most beautiful thing ever? Oh, look at that. When you paint things that are circular like this, I'm going to encourage you to go around with it and it's gonna give your paint job a much more professional looking finish. Love, love, love that. Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? Pooh Bear's Honey Pot to me is just, I don't know, it just makes me think of just cute and cozy and warmth and I just have really good feelings about that. How about you guys? I think on this pot I'm going to add some polka dots to add to the musical feel of this. Quick crash course, three things that I like to use, okay? First off, you can go out with something like this. This is typically considered like a stencil brush but I actually use it because of the round shape and I can create like a stamp of a circle. I also have second option. I love to have what's called sponges on a stick. You can get these all different sizes and basically same sort of thing. You stamp onto your project. Another way to make great polka dots is with q-tips because of the rounded edge. You can just make them the size that you want and do it by hand. I'm gonna go into my black velvet I'm going to pounce some off a little bit. Do the circle dance. Do the circle dance. Press in like with a plunger. Do the circle dance and then pop it out. Oh, love me that polka dot. Love that. All right, let's put a couple to kind of like take the focus off where the print was. We're gonna deflect. We're gonna like make your eye look at something else. If you don't have that, you know what? You're gonna just take the Q-tip and you can make some really pretty perfect little polka dots, right? You're just using your own, your own brain power. And elbow grease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner effect. Okay, I'm gonna go into my black velvet because I want to do a little edging. Kind of like putting those polka dots in a frame. Now they've got a top and they've got a bottom. Adding edging to just really give it, you know, to bring the character of the piece to life. Of course, I gotta do a little distressing. Just give it another interesting thing for your eye to look at. Yes, you can distress our paint over pottery. Banana peel to the rescue. This is our super durable top coat that's gonna give a nice finish to this piece, a nice sheen to this piece to make it feel finished and professional, but also protect that gorgeous shabby paint job that we just did. Same movement, just like you paint it, you're gonna to wanna to follow your brush strokes. What happens with our paints is you're gonna see the color just even pop more. It really sharpens the color. I'm in love with this little darling thing. Our banana peel is dry, it dries clear, and now I have this really cool distressed honey pot. Maybe now I can replace back here my Folgers coffee can. 
we can now upgrade it, right? We can now put my paintbrushes into this cute little piece of pottery for all of $2.99. This, this will become a project for another day. We can make it beautiful another day. But guys, I'm going to tell you, this just makes me happy right here. And because it's so sturdy, it's not like a piece of plastic, you know, like that's going to fall over when my desk gets knocked or anything like this. This is a nice, sturdy, stable piece of beautiful quality pottery that would have been overlooked if we didn't come in with a little bit of junk monkey paint and make a completely shabby gorgeous. All the supplies that I use here on my vlogs, of course, you can find at junkmonkeypaint.com. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another day here on the vlog. You guys know that I am a daily vlogger, which means you want to check back every single day for a new video. A new show is released every night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment below. I would love to be able to keep this channel going and give you daily doses of inspiration. Who else loves the honeybee pot? And who else is going to make one? Let me know below. See you tomorrow. Bye!